hey guys welcome back to my channel so um here it's another video for you and today i'll be showing you how to tie a simple gilly so i have already made my pleats about four or five of them and it's a 65 35 um ratio meaning one is way smaller the reason why that hand is super small is because the overall length of my gilly is quite small so i turned like i i of course made my plea to the end then i crossed it at the back the longer one down the up the shorter one up then i brought the longer one above her head again i brought it above her head and i'll just start to create my pleats So this is a gilet that you can easily um, throw on. You are going to church or a quick occasion, you know. And if you have watched up to this point or you are hearing the sound of my voice, please do well to leave to subscribe to my channel for much more exciting videos like this. I drop us all makeup tutorials, makeup tips, makeup hacks so do well to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos also do well to like this video if you enjoyed it and if you have a video in mind you like me to create or you have any questions please do well to leave it in the comment section i will be more than glad to hear your thoughts and your questions and answer your questions so as you can see here i'm creating the pleats and i'm just gradually forming a wide spaced fan while i'm creating the pleats i'm doing this very slowly just because it is a tutorial this is something you can quickly do because the fans do not have to be super perfect because this is not a fan gilly so i'm just the fan is just like creating allowance for the kind of style we are creating so you can see it if you are trying it you may want to watch it over and over and keep trying it because pa practice makes perfect so you just watch it keep watching again and keep trying it so i'm just creating the fan until the top of my gilly is exhausted then i'm um, of course you don't want to lose your pleats your pleats is the beauty of your gilly so I am gradually working my way down, arranging the pleats neatly while still giving allowance for my gilly. So like I said, this is not a fan video. This is not a fan gilly. There's a link above to show you how to style your fan gilly or how to style a fan gilly or create a fan gilly. So now I'm just working my way down, trying not to lose my pleats. Always do well to tell your model or your client or your assistant to always be of help so that your gilly stays in place while you are trying to manipulate it. So, as you can see, I'm just fixing it until my gilly is exhausted. Then that particular place where it meets, where the end of the pleat meets, I'm just going to twist it and twist and twist it if you like to see if you would like to secure it with a pin just like i'm doing very fine so that it doesn't go off or it doesn't go out of place so i'm securing it with a pin to the bottom part of the gilly and I'm just going to be 
holding that spot while I twist the gele so it doesn't affect the pleats I've already created. So my the length of my gele is actually short, shorter than normal. So normally eh, your gele is supposed to be long enough to tie it at the back. But because it is short, I have to pin it all the way. And if I use dough, that's just that small edge to try to make it tight, quite tiny. It. it may disrupt my ready created pleats. So I'm just going to roll it and pin it. But if yours is long enough, just roll it till the back of your model or your client's head or your head and tie. And that's that. But here I'm rolling and I'm pinning. Okay. So you want to pin in a way that it's not super visible that the whole head is packed with pins. So you just want to hide your pins while pinning them. So I'm securing it with enough pins, you know, because I didn't tie it at the back. So it's well secured. So I'm pulling the gele to the to a hairline and now I'm arranging the gele. So I'm going to arrange one side like a simple round gele while I bring the excess towards this towards the other side and pin. You can see it. The beauty is coming out already. So I'm just going to arrange this style at this point. This is an unconventional gilly, so it hasn't really been tagged the name, but it's just one of those simple, um, you know, simple new looks that you can just quickly tie and turn up for church or whatever occasion it is. So... You just pin wherever you feel needs pins. So now I'm arranging the back to cover my model's head because she's on her natural hair. If your model is on maybe braids, you may want to roll it roll the gele to expose the braids just to if the braids are very neat but since my model is on her natural hair i'm covering it up and i'm pinning it So I'm pinning every place that needs pin and I'm arranging the front and pinning the required the required place just to give it the beauty. I'm adding the final finishing touches. So you can see it i pinned the the design up a little bit down just to give it this cute look at the edge and this is the final look i hope you enjoyed this video stay tuned for more bye